Hello friends! Welcome back to the studio and today we're bringing you guys back another new skincare launches and just seeing what new products have been on the market. This is the series where we collate all the products that have fallen into our laps for the month just to show you guys and try for you guys which ones are worth the money, which ones might not be and just compare and contrast it with all the other products that we've tried previously and you can decide whether you want to spend all Pledge. Or save. Or save! <laughs> and before we get started, we have a very important little memo we want to share with you guys. If you've watched our previous videos on favorite skincare items, including lippies, mm -hmm. we just launched Amuse's Dewy Lip Tint as well as True Velvet on the Beauty Within Shop. So Yay! if you guys want to check that out, Go ahead, there's literally every single shade you can possibly find. It's fellow my favorite, and guys, it's seriously beautiful. It's like a soft launch. There's only 10 of each shade because we really want to see which one speaks to you guys' yes. lips and souls. So depending on that first batch, we'll reorder real quick. So leave your thoughts on any and all of that below for us because we read them all. Yes, and then we also have swatches on our website so if you guys aren't sure don't worry it's all there for you guys to check out and with that shall we get started yes all right starting with bing what are you guys doing here today we have merch, as you can see, and this is just one of the designs. So we have three designs. The first one, hydrate. We always talk about hydration, how important that is for the skin, for the body, for the mind. So we thought that was a very important message yes. to send. The school one, because we always educate on this channel and then all of you guys and we are still learning. So it's like kind of a beauty with We're school. all going to school together. Yes, skincare school. But fun. So the phrase we're used to hearing is it's skin deep, but as we've learned on the channel, there's so much that goes on behind the scenes, inside our body, in our brains, our skin, our mind, and so everything is actually all going on underneath. And it's all connected. Yeah. Yes! So this one is the By Wish Trend Sera Barrier Soothing Ampule. It is $28 and it just came out. My thoughts on Wish Trend have actually been really good lately. They've come out with their UV cream, which we'll talk about in an upcoming video all about sunscreens. It is so good, but more on that later. This is an ampule, so a recap. Ampules are in kind of your serum step. They're there to target specific concerns. So this one, straight off the bat, you read the name Sera signifies ceramides. So the fact that this is jam-packed with 69% of Centella Asiatica extract, as well as ceramide and seven different types of peptides, it's like literally a magic in a little bottle. Yeah, at the beginning, I was a little like, eh, it's just another ampule, it looks quite simple. But when I used it, I think I used it at the right time because I was experiencing a little bit of dryness, a little bit of itchiness, and a little bit of bumpiness on specific areas of my skin. And even after using this after three days, the itchiness actually completely subsided and it started to gradually get like smoother. Although the smoothness doesn't come from anything in here, it was more the effects of the calming and soothing. And then looking up into the ingredients, I think that 69% Centella Asiatica actually makes all the difference. And you know how we talk about serums and ampoules being like that concentrated step? That is a huge amount. And if you look at the ingredients list, I was like really impressed because it comes up as the first ingredient, Centella Asiatica extract. So there's a large portion of that in there. And like, I really love these textures where it's like yeah. light and almost feels like it glides across the face like nothing. So honestly, I'm like super into this ampule for the function of just like calming down your skin. It reminded me a lot of the Glow Recipe Avocado Ceramide Serum. That one is one of my like favorites. They're very different, but they're very similar in what they do. So I would say because this is $28, it's actually way more affordable than the avocado ceramide serum and for it to help soothe your skin does make sense although like this serum or ample as you said doesn't directly smooth out your skin I think it's because it's repairing your skin barrier so that the hydration can like actually stay in your skin and make it more plump yeah but I think this one if you're drier skin if your skin is compromised if it's red like as soon as I put this on it just like 
Oh yeah. Oh my god, I just do see this. Oh my god, yes. I full on went ham you and squeezed the like I could feel a bump. It, I knew it was like those rice grains, and I think I penetrated like five layers of skin oh just to scratch that thing out. I just couldn't help it. I was like, you know, I'm this deep in it already. Let's just go. And then I put that straight over it, and it like you know didn't sting or anything. So that's always a great testament of something. Mm. Yeah, so that's that one. Really love it, and the glass bottle was surprising oh my, too. I was just gonna say the packaging. Really cute. What do you want to move on to next? The polish was vitamin C because Ooh. I think this is very interesting. Mm -hmm. And then this one, guys, the Peach and Lily's Pro Peptide Moisturizer is my favorite moisturizer of this year. I said it before, I'll say it again, I'll get into why probably towards the end of the video, so mm. make sure you guys stay until then. But okay, let's first talk about Paula's Choice C5 Super Boost Moisturizer. There's 5% vitamin C and hexapeptide 5. I think Paula's Choice does a really good job at formulating moisturizers. You guys know I love their Omega one mm -hmm. with the light blue packaging. So I just thought that this would be similar. You know, like Polish Choice does basic really well. Yeah. Again, not basic in like a derogatory or like a bad way. It's just like very simple, right? Yeah. Like a barrier cream. But I was so wrong. <laughs> I slept on this. The texture. It's so it's like good. it's like a little jelly. And then the scent of it. To Fell, she said it has more of a savory smell. To me, it smells like oat milk chocolate. And then the texture is like super lightweight, absorbs so beautifully into your skin. And it leaves my skin glowing. It like really bright is. Bright and glowing. It's like Just flush. upon application, yes. So like in the past, the vitamin C, I thought it was going to be like a thick, rich cream because yeah. previously like Sunday Riley has their vitamin C moisturizer. All the other vitamin C moisturizers have been quite thick because I think they use like an oil carrier versus you know you can get a watery based vitamin C serum which is like very watery. So I was like a little hesitant at the beginning. So these two are like the same thing Sweet. just in different forms. They come with the three forms of vitamin C. Both just formulated a little bit differently because this is for the sensitive eye area. So the only thing is because because this does have that rich nourishing that's not like overwhelmingly thick after film, it may pill if you were to put makeup after it. So that's just something to call out. And then this one, the good thing about it is that vitamin C's do have a very well-researched background, right? So you know it's gonna be really good for hyperpigmentation. If you're thinking of getting this for like dark under eye circles, I wouldn't necessarily think that's what this is for because under eye circles are from blood vessels. It's actually under the skin. So that's nothing that I think vitamin C can actually help with, but what you can use this as a brightening eye cream for is like melasma or any freckling or any kind of that surface hyperpigmentation rather than like purple under eyes because that's like sleep, nutrition, you know, stress and all that. Mm -hmm. So just to get those distinct. So I feel like this formula is just really beautiful. Mm -hmm. I actually just don't know how effective vitamin C is by the like end of a routine, you know? I would assume if I was to use this to make it the most effective, maybe I would play down all my toners and serums so that it's just like ceramides, green teas, like very simple just to let this work. So if your routine is very simple and you're looking for an active like and a very effective antioxidant, then this is great for a moisturizer. But if you already have a really solid like vitamin C serum, I don't think this is necessary. I would say if you guys want to try a vitamin C in your moisturizer, this is worth trying. Okay, so those are that one. Quite exciting. Haven't heard from Paula's Choice for a while. Yeah. Guys, what are you doing? Let us know! <laughs> you know we love Polish Choice. Okay, so next we have a serum. This is from Holly Frog. Holly Frog's really interesting just as a brand. <laughs> it's like, I don't know how quite to wrap my head around it, but anyway, so this is the Moonbeam Retinol Treatment Serum. So it's got 2.5% encapsulated retinal, otherwise known as retinaldehyde. And this is different from your retinol because just imagine it as a three-step process. So if you have a retinol, it has to convert to retinaldehyde and then it has to convert to retinoic acid on your skin so that it can do all that good stuff, right? So if you get something that's already a retinol, then you're kind of skipping that beginning step. What this means is that 
the more steps, the better it is for like easily irritated skin. So if you're sensitive, retinols are the best because it's like further away from retinoic acid. So anyway, this has got really interesting ingredients. And apart from that, it's got monk pepper. It's got a skin matrix repairing crocus chrysanthemum oh. bulb extract <laughs> and also phospholipids. Um, this is what we when we say holly frog is interesting. Yeah. In a good way. Like, I don't even know what that means. What did you just say? <laughs> it's, it's like but it's cool. concocting our own little witchcraft yeah. like thing. Okay, so what you'll find with all retinals is that it comes up in this really funky, vibrant yellow, and that is the natural color of retinal. So you guys know I've used the Youth to the People one, which is essentially the same, so I'm very much comparing it with the Youth to the People. And like, funnily enough, it is exactly the same price. And I love the Youth to the People because it has the three types of mushrooms that we love for, you know, countering dryness, irritation, everything like that. I've used chemical exfoliants that are more irritating than retinol. Oh, this is so gentle. Yeah. This is like, if anything, I just feel like it looks as if I put a layer of turmeric on my face. <laughs> yeah. It like, it does make you a little yellow. Yeah. But it goes away, like it's not gonna stay there. Yeah. And it doesn't irritate your skin. Yeah. The consistency is really nice too. Yes. It applies really well. The smell just reminds me of Tata Harper. Like, oh, herbal yeah. ingredients that's a little overwhelmingly herbal. <laughs> Me personally, I just don't enjoy that as much, but I'll do anything for good skincare. So like whatever with the smell. But apart from that, I don't really have anything much to say. I think like it is a little steep only because there are really affordable retinols like mm. the ordinary, like Grand you, Active. the Grand Act, 2% Grand Active Retinoid. It's like under $15. There's a retinol from The Ordinary, also under $15. But I will say that like normally serums are the most expensive, mm -hmm. I feel like, in our routine. So they're not like the only one that's marking this up. And they do have quite interesting ingredients, which I don't know how they source, so maybe that's part of the yeah. price. But I do feel like it's still a great serum. I just don't know for $68. Mm -hmm. Unless you're a fan of Holly Frog, mm -hmm. it's great but the price. The name is cute. Yeah. Moonbeam. Moonbeam. Okay, moving on to if you do have hyperpigmentation and you do want brightening with more vitamin C, this is Laneige's new Radiancy Brightening Treatment Essence. Mm. So first off, I mean, I think the name already kind of like gives out what it is, but mm. like- I know, the bottle's the really box, cute. Glass things, I don't know, soft spot. I know. And maybe, maybe it's with aid, but <laughs> it's just so nice. I just feel like the they whole, have a place in your bathroom. It's like SK2, yeah, but not like the SK2 price. Yeah. And then they have a little pump where I think it just like dispenses, you know, a drop is just like how much you need, or like a pump is how much you need. It actually, a good amount comes out. I'm not gonna do it because it just will go everywhere. And then it's really cute that they have this like, Ranges. yeah, so, so what cute. they claim is that by 30 days, your skin will be glowing. Mm. Okay, so in here there's vitamin C, EAE, or 3O ascorbic acid. And they also have a super berry complex, including acerola, which is a berry. It's a it kind of looks of like cherry. cherry. Yeah, yeah, it's like a brighter red cherry that's super jam-packed with vitamin C as well as acai. And we know acai is just amazing all around, especially for antioxidants and all of that. So I do like how not only is this brightening, it's also very hydrating. Mm. So if you think of like the SK2s or like the Amore Pacific, even though the ingredients are very different, the consistency of it, it's just super watery, it's clear, and it goes on like those essences that you can just layer after like on and on and on. Probably wouldn't do this, yeah. for wouldn't use this and do that, but it's that consistency that's just like, you just, splash you just water. splash water on your face and every single one of your cells on your face is happy and dancing. Yeah. So if I were to use this, I would just go straight into like a moisturizer either like a skin berry friendly one or maybe even like the vitamin C and just keep my routine really streamlined. And I do find that like this really does like subtly brighten. It's not gonna like 
clear your skin up and then your freckles are, freckles are gonna be gone. But it gives you that like overall brightness, overall glow, and then also like that really deep hydration. If people were looking into vitamin C, why would I get this over a vitamin C serum or a vitamin C ampule? If there's a specific thing you're trying to do with your skin, which is like to brighten or like there's this very stubborn dark spot you wanna get, get off of your face or like make it disappear, Go with the ampoule, go with the serum because that is still where it's at. So for me, that is the Medicube Vita C like 13% serum. But once I get to a place where maybe it's winter time, it's not as sunny and like my skin isn't as pigmented or freckled, then I'll use something like this for more of like a basic maintenance. Like a gentle overall, like yes. brighten, sustaining. So it's kind of like for acne prone skin, if you're if you're having active breakouts, your routine will look very different from when it's not. Hmm. So I think for like maybe like fair skin gals, you know, if my skin is like super freckled and like sunspots are everywhere, then I will of course go for like a heavy hitter. But once it's fine, I'll like save that for when I need it again and then mm -hmm. just use something like this. For an essence, it's actually pretty affordable. Yeah. Like compared to all the other ones out there, like Misha, SK, Amore. Mm -hmm. The only thing is worth calling out. I don't know if it is. I don't know if people still care about alcohol than that. Mm -hmm. The natured alcohol. It's the second ingredient in here. So I think enough education hopefully has been talked about how it may not actually be stripping. It may actually be beneficial. So just saying it in case. Let's talk about creamy. I haven't tried this yet, but I freaking love creamies. They're a Brazilian brand who I don't even know if they've really launched in the US, but they have phenomenal products and their one ingredient that they've like, owned is hip skin and it's their marine algae or like algae. I'm so glad you, I'm so glad you said it because I would have been like, hype skin. Hype skin. No, because I actually got to talk to the team and they have their mandelic acid serum, which I love. They have a lactic acid and they have a glycolic moisturizer, which I love as well. So this is their new, like new thing. Yes. And so this of course has the hip skin, which as Fall mentioned is, is it fermented? No, it's, red marine algae. And they can only find it in, in like that the, pot. The coast of yeah. that specific region in Brazil. Yeah. This calming rich cream also has two other, I guess like patented ingredients in here that one is called avocado HU25. <laughs> I think it's avocado oil it's and a maybe, robotic avocado. yeah, or maybe it's olive oil because there's a lot of like Olivier, Sotero, Olivier, things like that. Mm -hmm. There's also NutraZen. I tried looking up their website. I have no idea what it is, but I trust that this is basically like a really calming, soothing, anti-inflammation, like help calming redness type cream. Mm. And I think it's like, if you want to think of this in a cream form, it'd be something like this. Like skin restore. Yeah, I don't think it has as many peptides or like ceramides as this might. And this also doesn't have centella. So like it is different, but like it has the same calming effects. Mm. It's amazing what really great ingredients can yeah. do, like instant effect. Bloop. So just to... Uh, they all have this uh, twisty cap, yeah, packaging. Yeah. And then, Ooh, it's so nice! Wow, the texture is very nice. It's on the lighter weight spectrum. Oh my god! Okay, so you know the hip skin? It gives you that algae, algae feeling. It's like what is the algae feeling? You know, like seaweed. Oh, if yeah. you just extract seaweed water, it's like a little slimy, but it's so it's like on your face. It's got that. Consistency, oh my God, love it. And hip skin, not only is it, I think like algae in and of itself is very like hydrating and beneficial to our skin. Mm -hmm. It's also formulated to help with evening out your skin tone. Redness. Redness, anti-inflammation, all of that. And it's, it's in every single one of their products, right? Yeah. So this specific one, it's, think of it as like a skin barrier cream. $28. $28. from me. I would say this is a lighter weight version and more soothing calming than my favorite Puram. Cause Puram, the barrier oh. balm, it's great for winter time. Mm, I actually have been using it all summer. 
And who are you? <laughs> I know. Who it's are like, you? It's actually not that thick. <laughs> I think it's also like the dose too. Yeah. Like you just put a bit less. But yeah, I think this is a bit more lightweight than that. Would I recommend this? I think like on its own, it's a great product. If you compare it to like other things or like other barrier creams, I think the price helps it stand out. But if you were to compare it to something like this, which to be fair, isn't a fair comparison. This one for sure like wins like by miles. Are you ready to talk about this? Yeah. Okay. Last one. Last one, friends. So the Peach and Lily Peptide Pro Firming Moisturizer, three benefits. It also helps repair your skin barrier. It also is hydrating and it also is firming with 12 different types of peptides. Ja. And so when Alicia was formulating this, it was a very intentional decision for her to make sure this cream hits all three of these pillars. Because to have truly plump, glowing, healthy skin, first your skin barrier needs to be intact, mm -hmm. and then hydrate, it needs to be hydrated so that you know, it can be for like the other ingredients and help it truly be like firm. Mm -hmm. Because if, if your skin barrier is compromised, no matter how hydrating anything is, no matter how firming or like how many peptides or amino acids you throw in there, it's not gonna matter mm -hmm. because your skin's just gonna be busy trying to fix itself. When it comes to the barrier cream, some of the ingredients are squalane as well as the tremella mushrooms. Love mushrooms. Oh my goodness, especially tremella mushrooms. It's like what we grow up eating in Chinese desserts is yeah. that um, snow fungus. Yeah, like anytime you see mushroom in like any skincare, you just know it's hydrating. But especially this one. Mm. It has that like, as you said, kind of like similar to algae. It has yeah. that like slimy consistency. Like a flower. That's really good for like your insides, mm -hmm. but I'm sure also for your skin. Yeah. That's why it's in here. We went to a very intimate event where Alicia was actually telling us about the process. And this one ingredient called phytosterol, they found that, you know how petroleum jelly is a really good occlusive, it traps in all the hydration, which is what a moisturizer should do. This actually can mimic what the petroleum jelly does in terms of trapping it in without being thick. And that's what I think is the most surprising thing you'll find if you do get a chance to try this out it's this cool funky blue color but that's just all normal natural for the ingredients but like it goes on very similar kind of like this a little bit thicker than this gel creamy kind of consistency but then it just like locks in and that's why like I don't know the skin barrier competition like when they compare the two I think she was saying this showed the ingredient as much the phytosterol was yeah. better than petroleum jelly yeah which is insane because you think about vaseline it's yeah. like so thick but this is not like thick it just glides on it's smooth it's silky i would actually say this is more lightweight than this would this you? is more like rich and nourishing mm -hmm. not being like overly so but this is just like beautiful lightweight quickly absorbs into your skin, which is why like not only is it like trying to do everything, the consistency and the texture is also beautiful. Maybe like, cause I have oily skin. Mm -hmm. It acts almost like a sleeping mask, like a gel Ooh. sleeping mask on my skin. These two are actually quite similar. Yeah, it's like a really- They are very similar. Finessed, yeah. like, Oh. Anyway, you you know with Peach and Lily, they also had a soft little rebrand. I don't know oh, if yeah. you guys are fans of Peach and Lily, but they have changed a little bit of their label. And if you guys live by an Ulta, just want to try out this cream, just go in and like get like a Q-tip, whatever. Try it. It is amazing. Oh my God, though. Okay, so I saw Alyssa <laughs> from their team and we were talking and they're saying like it's... If you see this in store, like Grab literally it. get it because all the products and like, you know, shipments and everything in the world are like backed up and things are out of stock. So if you do see it, like, oh my God, the, the Lord has blessed you, my friend. <laughs> so that is the Peptide Perf Firming Moisturizer for $3. It's like honestly not even bad for a moisturizer. That's the thing, like it does so much. Mm. And I actually feel like this works better than some of the really expensive creams. Like yeah. as we know, the money doesn't always reflect you know, the, a good product. So those are basically our roundups. If we yeah. had to choose a standout, like really pleasantly surprised by the formula of this. It's so delicate for what it does for vitamin C. Love this one, highly recommend. 
Obviously love this one. Didn't actually get to try this one, so maybe I will. Didn't get to try this one. This one's a bit overpriced, so like these three. And then mine is just boink. So hopefully this helped you on your skincare journey. As always, your skincare shopping. I mean, one quick thing is just skincare should be fun. Yeah. You know, I think we always say this, but I think especially now, there's so much information out there. They could be conflicting, they could be not. It's just information overload. At the end of the day, take a step back, take yourself to Sephora, take yourself to Ulta, walk through the aisle, touch things, feel things. If it makes you feel good, if, it's, if something sticks out and like you want to try it, then like try it. Yep. You no, know, no one should tell you otherwise because this is your, your time for yourself that you get to really relax and take care Enjoys. of yourself. Enjoys. Yeah. Well, and we have a kind of part two where we rounded up September's sunscreen launches. Yes. So that might be next, that might not be next, but we put a little video card here if it is. Click there and we'll see you there. And don't forget to check out the Amuse launch. It's seriously my favorite lip find of this year, actually. <laughs>